Hi there, sign of Pisces. My name is Kim and I will do your reading for December 19th and 20th. This will be for your weekend. And then I'll get the weeklies out for you all. Um, thank you. I just want to send my gratitude out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, all of that. It really means a lot to me. I just want to send my gratitude out to you. All right, if you would like a private reading, if you want to sponsor the channel, uh, you can find ways to do so in the description box below. And let's get started. We call in Divine White Light to bless us here as we do the reading and bless the people that are watching this too. We call in our angels, our spirit guides, our higher self, higher power, trying to get the message that's for the greater good, the sign of Pisces. Okay, hey, Pisces, let's begin. We're going to start with uh, Kim Cran's archetype deck. Kim Cran's archetype, the wild unknown archetype deck. Yeah. I've never gotten this one, but I think it's good <laughs> just by how it looks. It looks good. Anima Mundi. Anima Mundi. Mundi. I think it's Mundi. Let's see. Let me look up in the book for you because I have, like I said, I've never gotten this one for anybody. You are the first, Pisces. You are the first. Let's see. Hell. Kairos. Oh, okay. X A. Hang on, I'm getting there. Sorry. Okay, I found it. I found it. I'm going to read from the book a little bit for you. Anima Mundi. This means the soul of the world. All that is. Anima Mundi epitomizes the principle, accept all, reject none. Simply put, it is the living soul of the world in all its multifaceted, multidimensional layers, bonded together by loving cosmic forces. Diversity is celebrated, multiplicity is honored, and nothing is denied embrace. Constructs of separation dissipate into the wonderful mess of shared consciousness. Anima Mundi is the link between the literal and the imaginal, the rational and the mythic. It's this connective fiber, it's this connective fiber that makes life meaningful. This card is an indication of your initiation on the level of the soul. You will awaken the unique light within and witness how this light contributes to the radiance of the entire universe. You will sense yourself as a critical note in the cosmic orchestra. Destiny is altered as you hear the enchanted melody of all living things. It says it's also tending to the sacred details of life. The embrace of anima mundi is available anytime, anywhere, to anyone, day or night, rich or poor. It is the process of unveiling our resistance to its love. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. All right, let's grab another, another card. We'll do another oracle from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. For our sign Pisces, December 19th, 2020. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces high is good, oh, Pisces high is good, right, for Pisces, can I get a card for Pisces, whoa, <laughs> that one flipped out, peace, we have peace, I know this card usually comes out in the midst of a chaotic world okay the main meanings in the book are freedom from attachment and radical acceptance which this card was about acceptance too 
So it says the Oracle's message is it doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled, freedom from want, and the soul's satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. Woo. Okay, I'm going to read the, the rest. The relationship message for this card is when two people are in true alignment with an, one another, they have innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it's to be savored. The prosperity message is this is one of those times when you're capable of clear vision about your work and how to create your prosperity. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it, Pisces. <laughs> you are called by a presence to step into your power. Just being is enough for you are in peaceful harmony with spirit and it shows in your work. <sighs> it's like a big sigh of relief. That's such a good card. Just it makes you feel good too. It's a feel good card. All right, let's get some energy cards for you, Pisces. For and this is for 19th and 20th December. Oh, all right. Does somebody hold your heart? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So there's a really big stressor to get rid of attachments. Okay, attachments are things that kind of bind you to, to certain things in life, right? Sometimes it binds us to things that we don't, that aren't really good for us. So attachment is anything that you feel like you're a ball and chain to. Don't feel like that. Get detached from whatever this is that's bothering you. They have, we have the King of Cups too, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio Pisces. This may be you though. Uh, because this is an action. It's like an action card. It's a king that takes action in a loving and devoted manner. Loving, devoted, diplomatic, sensitive, sweet. Very good. And, you know, I'm thinking there may be an attachment that's getting in between the two of you. Maybe. Um, maybe that's why this came up. All right, let's get you a guardian angel card and we'll look a little bit deeper, see maybe if they have any messages for you or what is the message for you from the guardian angel deck. Pisces, 19th and 20th of December, 2020. There we go. Oh, angel of challenges. All right, so we know that spirit acknowledges what we're going through right now. And that it is a challenge to us, for us, and maybe a challenge in your foundation since it has a four or with an, an emperor type uh, personality, like an Aries. Let's look at number four, number four, number four. Okay, this card shows up because it wants to be, n let you know that they're aware of your current situation. You may be presented with a challenge that will make you question your life's journey and at times your reason for being on this earth. Your angel of challenges is here to assist you in understanding why you're being challenged. What you may see as a disheartening challenge could be a great gift in disguise. Always remember, every negative experience there is, there is a po positive one to follow. Your angel of challenges is by your side to help you find a way through this current challenge and to show you that there is always a way forward. There is a saying that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And this angel will help you discover that no matter how hard things get, you will get through this. You may even unleash an inner strength within yourself that you didn't know you possessed. Hmm... Call your angels in when you're making decisions to resolve the current challenge. Your affirmation is, I have all the strength and determination I need to overcome the challenges I'm being presented with at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry, Pisces. Sorry, I'm having to go through a challenging time. It's not always fun. All right, there's Pisces. 
Challenging times doesn't discriminate either. It happens to poor, rich, old, young, all of us. It doesn't discriminate. All right, let's get some tea leaves for you, Pisces. Now I know what that one's about. All right, we got a month here. We have August as a month for somebody. We have hand in need of assistance and guidance. And this, the energies may be reversed. So you may be helping somebody um, or they helping you vice versa. We have peacock, beware of great pride. Beware of great pride. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Aww. And I, you know, I'm going to add that sometimes feather is a positive thing. It, it is for me when I go on my walks. When I see feathers laying down, I know, like I have a knowing that that's my angels that put that feather right there. Because every time I go on my walk, I go on the same, like, track, the same trail. And the feathers that I would find would always be exactly through my line of walking. So, I want to tell you there's something magical about the feather card, too. Not just always bad. Um, acts, forces working against you. That's the darkness. The darkness is always there, always there. And, you know, our goal is to kind of change it and have the darkness be lit up, be illuminated. And remember, the bigger your light, then the bigger the shadow is cast. All right, let's get your tarot. This is the Rider Waite tarot deck. Let's get an issue card for Pisces. Okay, issue and challenge right on it. Okay, the Hermit, card of Virgo. Going inside to find an answer. Finding an answer within so that you find the light and then you're able to illuminate the trail for other people to see too. We have possibly deception crossing you, challenging you. That may be the dark, the shadow. Somebody uh, may be thieving, stealing. Um, and all these energies can be vice versa, okay? So it could be you, it could be somebody doing this to you. Just watch out for deception, especially when you see this as a challenge card. What is the past energy? Well, there's past. Here's spirit advice. Get more information. Get more information in the past. Oh, we have a wish that was granted in the past. Perhaps this wish did not... Um, please you as much once it came in in the future something something may have not been completely a hundred percent truth to you something might be been deceptive about this uh page of swords is uh let's see libra gemini or aquarius and it does mean gathering more information when it's spirits advice um it's actually listening to other people not gossiping, okay, listening, trying to decipher facts from fiction, finding out more information. That is the advice. Oh, and we have Leo, the card of strength on the bottom, trying to give you strength and courage to get through this. And then let's see what the projected outcome is for Pisces. All right, projected outcome, okay. Standing up for what you believe in. This is a good, a good card. Plus, if you look, we've got 9977. So we have the angel numbers here with us, as I'm sure they're here with us in our reading anyway. Uh, the Seven of Wands is about having to defend yourself. Uh, standing up for what you believe in. And in another deck, I was reading that the Seven of Wands can mean the light being illuminated amidst all the darkness. So I think it has something to do with that too. I don't always say that, but we've got, now we've got the devil on the bottom. So I think there is a shadow side. There's something that's um, dark. There's something that's dark. You just need to shine your light on it and get more information. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Sending love and light your way. Join me for the weeklies.